All right. Now. I have. Let's see if I can. I have almost 20 inches of wire here, copper wire. It's 20 gauge wire. You can see that. I have two pieces. And uh, I'm going to be wrapping this. I will be using a 26 gauge weaving wire. And I have it stored on this bobbin. I have well over three feet wire here. So let's get right to it. First thing I do is I get my wire just about middle, dead center. And then I just take and make a loop right about there. And I try to keep both wires together, showing. And I just go all the way around. Oh, sorry about that. All the way around. And coming up over. Kind of ending up something like that right there. From here, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and put this on the other side over here, on the back side. Now, I'll show why I do that here in just a second, right here. So I'm bending this back over, the one I put behind the left side. And I'm making this loop, trying to get it, make sure that they are both together at this same bend. And I end up with something like this. And I'm just straightening out my wires. So, here, make sure that my wires are not crossed over. I don't like my wires crossed over. So I'm running all four wires. So now, let's see. Nope, it's not going to do it. So I've got this side, the left side going off up to the, up to the top. And I've got the right side coming back around, flipped over, and laying down next to the left side. And that is my frame. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a length of 26 gauge wire. I have, it's probably about 7, 8, 10, yeah, right around there. And I'm going to bind these two together right here. So it makes a frame. So first of all, I'm going to take and check to see. Yes, that'll work just right. My daughter wanted me to wrap this crystal. So here we go. We get to wrap it. So that, that makes a pretty good frame, right? Okay, so I'm going to set this down. And I'm going to bind these two together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 26 gauge wire. I'm going to go in between the two. Right along this side of the frame. And in between the two parallel wires. I'm just going to take and wrap around here a couple of times. There's two. And then when I'm going to come up, tucking that tail end down back here behind, like that, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and clip this off, making sure that it's not going to overlap. Put the scrap back there. And using my handy dandy curved nose pliers. I'm 
making sure we're all on screen still. Now, slide that back up in between the two here. And sometimes it just likes to play with you. <laughs> there we are five and a half minutes in and I'm still jacking around with this damn thing anyways you're gonna get the raw me so I don't have any video editing skills I've been twisting wire for three years I love it it's a good, it's a good way to Express my creativity. All right, flipping back over to the front. I call the front, the top, whatever you want to call it. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the top of the top one here. Making sure that my wires are all laying down, not crossed over. And I'm going to wrap around this top one a couple of times. Making sure that they're all secured. Alright. Coming between the two parallel wires. And I'm going to go down in between the center of the frame coming down behind it up and going over it twice you see that alright so doesn't look like you can see that very well. I'm going to do something better with my lighting. There we go. So now I'm going to come up back in between the two. And I'm just going to follow that pattern down here to, you know, right around halfway down here so here we go I'm just gonna go two over making sure that my wires are nice and tight close together before I move on to the next and I just flip this thing around to make it easier down around twice coming back around down through the center of the frame a couple of times This is how I make my frames. I've just started doing this. These are my, what I call, free flowing frames. Very versatile. I've used it on a number of different stones. Today I'm using this crystal. But I can use this 
same frame scaling up or down depending on depending on the stone I want to wrap and I think that's where I'm going to end it right there about halfway down I have a few rotations will you stop auto focusing and uh, this is a good anchor right here it's a solid frame boom now I'm just going to leave this end off to the side because I think I might want to take and put a little extra wire on there. Now from here, what I do is make sure everything's all square. I get my, my crystal up on here. Alright. Got it set. Right around there. And I'm going to take the bottom wire, the one that's coming down here along the side. I'm not sure how I want to do this yet, so make sure that that crystal's sitting like this. Makes it look very cool. Let's see if I can get a good focus on that. I don't think I can. Yeah, I'd have these lights in the wrong place, I think. What if I go up to this? Isn't that cool? Anyways, let's get off that rock. And from here, what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to go over the top. I'm going to actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap this little end down here a little ways. I think that'll give me a little bit of a nice texture. So I'm just going to wrap this around these two wires. Until I run out of wire on my end, I don't have any set amount of wraps. No idea because, well, hey, I am just winging it. And this is how I always weave. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. I just let the creativity take its place. So that ended on top here. So that that works out just fine for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it up over the top like this. Yep. Yeah. Just like that. And I'm going to take it down along the side. Right about here. And I'm going to bend it down. And I'm going to come up through here in the frame. What I've done there is effectively locked 
Oops. The bottom of the crystal in. All right. Straighten these guys out real good. Okay, this is what we got so far, right? Just like that. And now from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this top one and I'm just going to catch the edge here, right here. And I'm going to go like just like that. See that? coming down just like this just like that and I'm going to come through this part of the frame coming up on this side of the wires coming down. No. Because I don't want it looking like that. I'm taking the edge of my round nose or bent nose pliers here and just kind of giving it a bit of a a lift on the bottom there to give it the uh, the proper look that I'm going for uh oh I have a malfunction here you see that now normally I would uh, I'd fix that but this is a video and I'm already 17 18 minutes into this thing and I'm not gonna start over fix that so just straighten these ends out right and so far we have Something like that. Yeah. With these ends, starting on the first side I started, I just taking straightening this out. Uh oh, Crystal's trying to get out. It's all right. No big deal. Taking. Lay it down. So, from here, taking the first two wires I started with, I'm just gonna bend it around, around, and come over the top, along the side, on this axis and I'm going to go down through here down through here And secure it. Down as low as I can. And this time I'm going to go over the top here. 
with just the one, the top one. And what that does is it anchors the uh, the weave down or the bend or whatever you want to call it, the wires. It just anchors the the framed in wires. You know, I've got a little going on here. And again, I'm going to take and raise this up because it it adds the the proper dimension to my weave to my wrap here and I wanted this over here to flow something like that and just work with it now with this one this one I'm just going to run up here along the side like this come down here bending it down like this and I'm going to go around the back and come up over the top like this completely captured that crystal which is two wires minus the 26 gauge that I took to uh, secure the frame to itself so here I am going to put this one down and I'm going to secure this one too just because I don't like it moving around. Please forgive me, I'm using my cheap phone to record this. It's got $60 phone so you know you get what you get I'm sorry for the uh, <clears throat> the autofocus that's something that I don't like much all right so there we go there's that now to secure a bail from here I'm just gonna take and Go like this. Bend it down over. Like that. I'm just going to secure it right there. So I want to have it on this side of the bale. That's all right. So here, clip it, leaving a little bit of the left left over to put it up underneath 
to where it's not visible and it isn't going to take and scrape on chest or your sweater so boom now with these last two wires here um, my favorite thing to do is just a little added detail Take this little guy. Gives it that little design element there. I don't think you guys are going to have a very good, I'm not going to have a very good quality video here, evidently. I have some more work to do on my videoing skills here. I don't know how that happened, but boom, look at that. That's just nasty. Nasty. But anyways, I have this last wire here. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm just gonna go over this one. So there we go. That is how I do a quick wrap on a crystal. Well, I hope you found value in this. And if you have, please give me a like. And uh, I hope I earned your subscription. Please share this out. Um, I don't know. I've got like three, maybe four subscribers. So let's help me build my build my channel. Um, I have many more to come. I this is the most basic I have right here. So please leave a comment. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. And uh, oh. I, by the way, I have a PayPal if you find any value in what I've done and would like to see more stuff like how to create a double coil like that or a cool little weave like that or even for that most challenging The channel set so I mean I have plenty more to teach and I would love to be able to help or make more videos available but that's gonna take some time and a little bit of money because I can't keep using these this camera this camera is just killing me so I've got it about a half an hour here um, please like and subscribe, share it, and let me know what you think. Thank you very much. 369 Wire Design. Thank you. Bye.